I'm Joel McCower, executive editor of GreenBiz.com. One of the unusual and exciting things that happened out of uh, Rio Plus 20 was a conversation about natural capital and ecosystem services. Basically, how to put the financial value of nature on balance sheets in, in corporate uh, financial reports and in uh, gross domestic product calculations. Uh, up to now, this has been a conversation that's been around for years, but relegated to a bunch of academics who studied ecological economics and wrote academic papers for academic journals. All of a sudden, this is the conversation at Rio was involving some of the world's largest companies and countries and financial institutions, really looking at how do you create a framework to put nature on the balance sheet. I talked with a lot of people at Rio about that. Here's what two of them had to say. One of the most exciting things we've found here as the Nature Conservancy is just a bubbling up of interest in the idea of, of natural capital, the idea that nature has value for the economy. So you can think about forests, coral reefs, wetlands as infrastructure that provide water, clean air, protection from storms. Huge interest in that in the business community, governments, NGOs, the financial institutions. There's a, a lot of businesses that are now actually trying to incorporate the value of nature into the way they decide, the way they, the way they value um, investments and things like that. And that surprises me in some respects because what they're, I think, this is my interpretation of it, I think what they're doing is adding to the, uh, the cost of natural assets that they, that they use. And so that surprises me that you, you know, companies would voluntarily do this. But I think they're doing it in a way to hedge their future, uh, future issues associated with resources. So they want to manage resources for the long term in that by incorporating the, the um, environmental cost or the, the total environmental value of an asset, natural asset, they will protect it for the long run rather than exploit it in the short, short term. So I think it's a, su a surprising development to incorporate additional costs into your de decision making, but what I like about it is that long term it will, I think, deliver good returns to companies that are thinking in these terms. We think that will be one of the legacies of Rio, uh, the world really getting serious about internalizing the externalities, really incorporating the value of nature into economic development, and that's, we're excited to work on that. One of the outcomes of Rio Plus 20 is something called the Natural Capital Declaration, a document signed by 39 of the world's largest financial institutions to agree to create a framework for what will it take to put nature on the balance sheet in corporate balance sheets and in national gross domestic product calculations. It could be years before we start seeing this showing up, but it's a really interesting conversation and we're going to be following it very closely. For GreenBiz.com, I'm Joel McCower. Thank you.